I have a daughter. She's about two and a half, two, two and four months now. And when she was born, I kind of decided that I had every excuse in the world to not be an active person. Like, I worked a full-time job, had a daughter. I just moved to a new state. I bought a house. Like, my life was crazy. Um, and I had every excuse to not be active. So if I, like, could muster up the energy at that time in my life to be active, then I was always going to be able to be active. So um, when she was tiny, like a week old, I was holding her, and I signed up for a half marathon <laughs> because it seemed like a good idea. Um, I didn't know what I'd signed up for. I ended up signing up for something called the Grist Mill Grinder, which is a great trail half marathon, and it's like nine miles of up and down, and then the last four is all uphill. I didn't know that at the time. And it was really just meant to be a motivation to, to train and to do something, even while I had this really small child. But I ended up really liking, I liked the training, and I loved the race, and I got back, and I signed up for more, and I've been running ever since, I guess. So I have run Pittsburgh Marathon about a year ago. I ran Morgantown Marathon this fall. Um, so those are my two road marathons that I've run. I'm running Pitt again in a little less than three weeks now, which I'm really excited for. And then I've run two trail 50Ks. Um, I ran one called Cape and Valley last May, and then I just ran this one a couple weeks ago um, called Holland in the Holler. Um, so 50K is like 31, 30, 32 miles, and it's on trail, so it's, it's a really, really different experience running, uh, running the trail. Uh, and then a, a whole mess of um, half marathons and 25Ks that are pretty much all trails. So I'm, I primarily run trails, but just did a uh, pit in Morgantown. <laughs> Uh, so when I hit the wall during a race, there's lots of things that I think of that help me finish. Uh, honestly, one of them is beer. <laughs> so I'm like, you can have beer when you finish. And that is often helpful. Um, but aside from beer, um, part of it is I've, there's been very, very few things um, probably in my life that I've started and not finished. And I really can't stand feeling that way and so it's partly it's like I would rather be kind of miserable for the next three hours than miserable for the next three weeks or three months because I didn't finish this I think my my favorite part of all the races has been when like you you turn a corner like not a physical corner but when you go from feeling terrible to feeling great again and I think that's even better than crossing the finish line or there's a point at the race when you realize that you know barring the unforeseen barring like lightning coming down or whatever that you're going to finish the race uh, and that feels really good to to know that you're you're going to finish I'm a, I'm a better person when I'm active I feel like it's it's my time when I process and I kind of make decisions and whatnot so that like that physical activity and that solitude of it is really important to me um, I've learned that it's not this inevitable slope of things getting harder and harder and harder. Like sometimes things get harder and then like you push through the hard and it kind of gets better again. So when you're having a bad day or a bad moment or a bad week or a bad month, it's not like it's just going to keep getting worse at some point. You'll find a goo packet or you'll drink some water or whatever it is and it'll, and it'll get better.